this has been on my mind for a while and I figured I would just do a video about it to kind of just talk out what I've been thinking about making money online. I know that there's a lot of people that want to do this and a lot of people try and a lot of people fail. And I wanted to kind of just talk about why I think that that is and how I think if somebody wanted to do this, how they could be more successful. I'm not saying that I'm completely successful and I'm making hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars a month. I'm not, I think I've made like, I don't know, $8,000 in the past almost year. <laughs> <laughs> which is really nothing. It's nothing. It's like pennies when you think about how many hours I have put into creating content and editing content and posting and just so many, so many hours. I have made money. So I figure I would kind of just share what I've learned over the past year about about doing this. I, I mean, it's really even hard for me to, to say when I started, right? It's hard for me to... <sighs> It's like I started posting on TikTok three years ago, videos. And the original reason that I started posting was because it was a pandemic. I was lonely. I wanted to talk to people. And it was really just for fun. And then at some point it became like, oh, I can actually make some money from this. You know, I'd always kind of envied people that made videos on YouTube and had YouTube channels and were, were making money on their YouTube channel. And I always thought to myself, oh, I can never do that. You're like, I, I just can't do that. And then it just... It just took that one video for me to gain a bunch of followers, for me to finally realize, maybe I can do that. <laughs> maybe I can do that. And then I started thinking about my skill set, you know, with an IT background. You know, I've not, I know a lot of stuff about applications and web and troubleshooting and project management. You know, and it's like I feel like a lot of my skills are really conducive to being a successful content creator. It's just I needed to learn the things that I didn't know. So I wrote down some notes, you know, because I didn't want to just ramble. But I feel like, like I said, there's a lot of people that want to do this. They try, they fail. And I think some of the reason that you could not be successful at this is because you're probably trying to do it in the wrong place and in the wrong way and you're also not doing it long enough i mean that's really just like kind of sums it all up i think i think people just don't realize how many people have youtube channels and are monetized how many people on instagram are and facebook are getting paid by the platform to show their reels they're getting paid by facebook paid by meta and and for their content so it's not just that they're affiliate marketers and, you know, because, you know, I've, I see a lot of stuff where, you know, uh, Instagram influencers, they're showing like their their bedroom and their their kitchen table and stuff. And they're and they're trying to do affiliate marketing also. Right. They want to send you over to their links, whether that's on Amazon or Walmart or some other website. They're trying to get you to go buy the thing and then they get the commission. So that you have those. But you have a lot of people that are being pay paid by the platform. You have a lot of people that are being paid by the um, brands. So like, for example, that table or that clock or whatever, those brands, the lip gloss are paying the creators for their videos. So they're paying for that. I, I don't know. So I guess my point for that is I think you've got to look around and see how many opportunities there are to make money online and try to see what your interests are, what your skill sets are and, 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 and align with that. Right. So for example, if you're a person that says, I absolutely do not want to make video, I don't want to edit video, I don't care if it's faceless or not, I do not want to do video. TikTok is not the place for you. <laughs> YouTube is not the place for you. So if you're trying to be big on TikTok or on YouTube without creating videos, I mean, what are you doing even? So you want to go to a place where you don't have to create videos. You may want to go on Instagram and create carousels, picture posts. You may want to go on a, a text-based platform like Threads or X. Those those places also monetize. You can also monetize on those platforms by, by being paid by the platform themselves and, you know, sending traffic to your affiliate links or if you are selling digital products or selling your own course or being an affiliate for someone else's course. I mean, like, literally, <laughs> there is so much that you could do, but you have to pick the thing that you're good at or that you could become good at with your existing skill sets and 
that you're willing to put the work in over a long period of time, it, it, you just have to do it. And I, I've made some mistakes. I have made mistakes along my journey for doing this. I originally started out with the whole journal thing. Everybody was doing the KDP journals, the Kindle Direct Publishing journals on Amazon. They were like, yeah, you just design this little journal in Canva and you upload it to the Amazon KDP and you know people buy your journal and then Amazon will print the journal and physically mail it to the person. You don't have to have any stock. You don't have to do any of that. I actually went through the process of getting approved for that. I got approved. I made a journal. I put a journal up on there, but it wasn't something that I enjoyed. It wasn't something that made me feel good. Like I didn't feel like I was producing a good product. Like I don't feel like I'm good at art. You know what I mean? And I think people that design journals, the cover, uh, the pages on the inside, like I kind of feel like it's more creative and more artsy. Um, just, I don't know. It just wasn't something for me, but I tried it and then I decided I didn't like it. I also signed up for um, what's it called FBA, Amazon FBA. That's where you can source things, physical doc, you know, physical things like books or, or I was going to do it with books actually. And you can like go to thrift stores. You can go to uh, local bookstores where this where the they're selling the books for very cheap prices. You can get it at you know, yard sales, you can get them at estate sales, stuff like that. So you basically want to source the books and then you can sell them on Amazon. You would ship the physical books to Amazon. And then when somebody buys that book on Amazon, Amazon would take care of the shipping and send it. There also is Fulfilled by Merchant where you can do that too. But Amazon will still do like the whole taking the money and then giving you the money and then you can ship. So anyway, I mean, I could go like, I don't like shopping. And I didn't like having to be responsible for trying to figure out where to source these books and getting them ready to ship in a box over to Amazon. I found it very confusing. I didn't enjoy it. So that was another flop. Another thing that I tried was I bought a digital marketing course and I thought, oh, I can resell this course. It was uh, one of those MRR courses, um, Master Resale Rights courses. And it just, it never sat well with me. I didn't feel comfortable selling the course because I was like, it just kind of felt like MLM. I mean, even though it's not, it still kind of felt that way. It was giving MLM. And there was a lot of negative aspects around it. And I just feel like, I just don't like that. So I tried creating templates for like Instagram and Facebook and whatever, like, posts, you know, like carousel post templates. I tried selling that on Etsy. So I finally settled on a few things and I'm still working on them. I'm still working. I'm still working on some things. There's other things that I have, you know, in the future that I'd like to do. So ultimately I had to be real what my skill set is. And my skill set really is in information and teaching. And I do enjoy the aspect of creating video content and editing it and posting it. I I enjoy that. I enjoyed all the gadgets. I enjoy the set, you know, the sound, the lighting, the camera. I got the tripod, like I'm, I enjoy setting up the room. Um, so I, I enjoy that. So that's where I decided to go. I decided to try and figure out how to maximize my efforts so that I wasn't doing the same things over and over again too much or like too much effort. So I guess I have to give you an example. So I was able to qualify for the Amazon influencer program for on-site commissions using my TikTok account. So my TikTok account, I had, it was able to get a bunch of followers. I had a bunch of engagement from a few videos that went viral for me. You know, I got a video that had like over a million views or whatever. I applied, I got approved. So then I started making videos for the Amazon on-site program. So I started making videos of things that I already had in my house, review videos like, like this cup or, you know, this pen. I mean, those are examples, but uh, I started making review videos, uploading those. So I started that, I want to say in August or so of last year. And then I started getting paid commissions on those because my videos were showing up. They got approved. They were showing up on the, on the product pages. People started buying the products. So that was, that was one income stream. I also got approved for the TikTok shop program. 
So I started making videos for TikTok shop. And what I tried to do was I tried to find products that was available on Amazon and also was available on TikTok shop. I did try to find where they were the same vendor that was selling in both places. I tried that at first. And then I started noticing that there were some products, a lot of products actually, that are, I guess what you would call whitelisted, where they're not really branded, but they're sold by multiple people like wholesalers or whatever. So even though sometimes it's, you know, XYZ on Amazon and it would be, you know, ABC on TikTok, but it is the exact same product, just sold by two different brands. So I eventually branched out and did that. And that gives me the ability to not have to do so many videos on so many items. I think this influencer game can produce a lot of a lot of videos that are needed, but a lot of waste, a lot of products that you need to have in your house and store and move and dust. And like, I just didn't want that. And I, and I know that a lot of influencers will get the product, do a video on it or do a series of videos, like say five to 10 videos, and then they'll do something with the product. They'll sell it, they'll donate it, they'll give it away or whatever, gets it out of the house. <sighs> That's a, a lot of effort to, to do that, and I don't I don't really know that I'm willing to do that. At least not yet. I still have not done a lot of the products in my house. I think I have under 200 videos on the Amazon uh, my Amazon storefront. So I still have a lot a lot of things that I can do without even purchasing things on the things that I already own. So uh, that's that's one thing. The the other thing um, because of my my video views, this has actually happened before the TikTok shop program, but I was able to join the creator rewards program on TikTok as well. So if I made a video that was over a minute long and got over a thousand views, then I would get money on the qualifying views for those videos. And I, I mean, you know, I think about $800 or so. And then I started doing the TikTok shop program and I stopped posting those kind of videos in the TikTok shop ended up taking off way, way better. So I kind of just stopped doing those videos. And now my account is pretty much all TikTok shop. So then eventually I decided to start repurposing my TikTok videos on Instagram, Facebook. I started on YouTube a little bit, but what I didn't like about YouTube is I didn't want my channel on YouTube to be about products. I wanted it to be about this, about talking about how I'm making the money, how to do things, like demonstrate stuff. I wanted it to be more of my purpose, <laughs> more of like fulfilling. So I need to stop doing those product posts on my, my YouTube channel so that my channel will kind of re-whatever. <laughs> re so the algorithm will change to the, the right audience. You who, who wants to make money online and doesn't, doesn't even know where to start or, or how to start. So yeah, so I've got that going. Um, I also was able to apply for another website called Benable. Benable is a place that has like over 30,000 brand partners that if you make a list of items, they'll do automatic affiliate links for you, which is awesome. So I started doing that. I started taking the stuff that was on Amazon, the stuff that's on TikTok, making Benable lists of them with my auto affiliate links. So you're talking the same product. So like say this, this whiteboard, I do a video of it for Amazon. I have it in my Amazon storefront. I do a video of it on TikTok. I have it in my TikTok showcase. I put it on my Benable list of, you know, must have office products along with other office products, right? And then people on Benable will go and look and click my affiliate links and go and buy the product and then I can make a commission there. So I'm really, it's more than two birds with one stone. Um, I'm trying to maximize it that way. So Benable, um, I haven't got a whole lot of traction yet, but I have made $50. $80 is the minimum payout, but it's it's one of those things. Like I feel like all of this stuff is like a slow kind of build up till you get to a certain point and then, you know, you'd be making money, money there. So uh, also <laughs> I have done, I've literally done so many things. I used to have a Facebook account and I used to have an Instagram account. Facebook account had... I have the numbers here. I should probably look it up, but over a hundred followers and I had paid an ad. I'd run an ad for that and gained a bunch of followers. And then I started posting my reels. And at that time I was reposting stuff from my TikTok account. That was uh, the talking videos where it wasn't shop videos. It was talking and stuff. So then I started 
getting really good views, not not wonderful views, but I, I was able to get enough views on Facebook that I was invited for the ads on reels program. So then I started getting, you know, a few dollars a month, but it was a start. And then my Instagram, somehow I got up to 400 and something followers. And then I just got overwhelmed. I was like, I just can't keep doing this. I was posting to, at that time, face, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, I think uh, X, Pinterest, like I was doing all of the things and I was like, you know what, I need to just simplify. And I also was posting about subjects that I wasn't really that, that I, was, I think at that time that was the digital marketing thing, like trying to promote the digital marketing course. And I just got burnt out and I was like, you know what, I don't want to do this anymore. So I ended up deleting my Facebook, deleting my Instagram, deleting, I'm not sure what else I deleted, but I deleted them. And then I figured out this thing with the Amazon influencer program, the TikTok shop program. And I was like, you know what? I can repurpose those videos on Facebook and Instagram. So I started new accounts and I'm in the process of growing those accounts and getting those going because my whole goal on Facebook is to monetize again with the ads on reels or other programs. I mean, Facebook has multiple programs. Same thing with Instagram. I am hoping to monetize on Instagram through the platform, through getting, you know, creator rewards. Instagram is also nice because in your stories on there, you can put links to products. So like, say I did a story of this pen, I can put a link to my affiliate link to my Amazon. I'm not actually also a Walmart creator. I, I got approved for that as well. So, you know, like I, I have so many irons in the fire. Um, there's that threads. There, you can get creator, you know, rewards program, like bonus programs on threads also. They can have over 400 followers on threads. And then finally, I'm, I'm working on becoming monetized on YouTube. So I would like to be in the YouTube partner program and get ads, you know, ad revenue on my, my videos. So I need a thousand followers and 4,000 watch hours in the last three, since 365 days. So I'm working on that. And I said all of that. I know that was a lot. I said all of that to say that I could do even more. I think I'm probably not going to do more right this minute. I think I've got enough irons in the fire to just work on all of those things and just keep learning and growing and doing better. But the thing that I wanted to say is I have already decided for myself that I'm going to do it and I'm not going to stop until I've done it. And I think that's where a lot of people fail is they say, you know, well, I've been doing this for six weeks. I've been doing this for four months and I'm not seeing any results. So I'm going to quit. I must not be good at this. I'm not, I'm not letting myself do that because I am good at this and I'm going to get better at this. And eventually I am going to monetize. And I think having made some money on multiple platforms has emboldened me, has given me the confidence to know that something that I'm doing is right. It is being recognized. And if I just keep going and keep learning, it's just going to get better. It's, it's only uphill from here. No, downhill. <laughs> downhill from here. Um, and I just, I just wanted to share my whole story, I guess, with you to just give you some hope that even though you are you know, a middle-aged woman like me, uh, that's boring and uh, talk slow, you could possibly make money online because I really feel like there is a market, uh, an audience out there for everyone, whether you're old. I've seen, I've seen people in their 70s and 80s do this and have YouTube channels and are monetized. I mean, I'm like impressed, so impressed you know, whether you think you're ugly or not, you know, I think there definitely is a bias towards, you know, the conventionally attractive people, but don't, don't count yourself out. I mean, I, I have my good days. I have my bad days. I, I wish I was more fit and thin and beautiful and not graying, but it is what it is. I think we're, we all should be trying to find the audience that resonates, right? I'm not going to resonate with certain audiences. I'm not probably not going to resonate with the 14 year old kid. I'm not probably going to resonate with, I don't know, someone in a different country that has total different outlook and on life. I, I don't know. So my point here is that I think it takes time to figure out who your audience is. And I've, 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 wear, you know, I've 
wavered on that because as someone that works in IT, I automatically assume that my audience is the absolute beginner. And after doing this for 20 years, that's exhausting to me to have to teach somebody from day one, step by step. <laughs> it's really, really exhausting. Like I would be more comfortable speaking to somebody with a similar background as mine. Somebody that, that has worked in IT or is working in IT. Someone that, you know, maybe is a um, programmer or someone that is a systems administrator like I am. Someone that works at a help desk and they realize like, oh, you know, I could have a YouTube channel also or I could, you know, be on TikTok shop. I just need to learn skills X, Y, Z and I'm good to go. So whether you have ADHD or you're autistic or you think you're boring or uh, you talk too fast or you talk too slow, there, there's an audience out there for everyone. There really is. As long as you're within the realm of, you know, being <laughs> societally acceptable. Like, like I, I, for example, like, you're not going to be eating people. <laughs> you're not going to be doing videos about eating people. I mean, that's, I don't, maybe there's an audience for that, but I don't think that would be, again, I don't think that would be allowed in YouTube's guidelines. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I know I'm like so, so specific, but like that's how my brain works. My brain is like, uh, kind of like, I don't know if that's absolutes or, or, or I don't know. I don't know, but I just <laughs> have to say it sometimes. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what's going on in a nutshell. So I would really, really, really like to share more about my processes and what I'm doing and what I've learned. Like I said, not step by step down to the right click, click here. I had something the other day where somebody sent me an email. I can't, I can't even remember what it is, but I got the email and I was like, oh, that's available. I would like that. And I went and I bought it. So, you know, I think there's like this stigma or whatever about uh, selling to people, but really people want to buy things. They do. <laughs> they do want to buy things. They want to buy things that they resonate with, that they're looking for, that they need, but someone has to tell them that it exists and someone has to tell them how to go get it. So uh, I would like to be that someone. I would like to be one of those people that they're talking about on TikTok that in quarter four is going to be a millionaire. I mean, Sure, it would be nice. It would be nice. I'm, I mean, I'm not really counting on making a million dollars in the next four months, but it would be nice. <laughs> I'm not going to bat an eye and, and say no about that, but um, I have dreams. You know, I have dreams. I have dreams about paying off the debt and living more comfortably. I want to be proud of myself, and I am proud of myself. I think I have achieved quite a lot in the last one to three years if you one year really trying hard to do this and make a lot of money three years of being on social media and making content so yeah i don't know i hope you got something out of this video i i feel like it was cathartic for me specifically um but let me know if you have any questions comments i i want to take comments and questions that people have put down in, the, in there and, and do more content about those things because I, I really I'm here to help I'm here to share I'm not here to gatekeep you know like I I think there's enough room for anybody that wants to do this I just you know want to give people encouragement that it can be done as a middle-aged person and a middle-aged woman with kids that works a full-time job that has a dog and a cat and lives in California. I mean, like, it can be done. <laughs> you know, like, I'm going to do it. And um, I think you can, too. I really do. All right. that That's it for today. I'll see you next time. Bye.